I got this NVMe from Amazon today. It's Lexar NM620. Um, it was on a really good price. It was like a, it's a two terabyte uh, Gen 3 drive and it was 130 Canadian dollars. From what I understand, this is actually a TLC drive too, which is pretty rare to get, you know, such a cheap and large volume TLC drive. A lot of times they're QLC, which will make a difference if you, you know, you're doing a lot of writes and the drive is filled up quite a bit. Um, and it doesn't have DRAM though. Uh, it uses HMB, which is fine. I mean, if you're using it as a boot drive, it should be totally fine. Nonetheless, I mean, there's a lot of people blow that out of proportion. DRAM is nice, but it's not the end of the world, especially on, you know, fast drives, especially when they're large, because you're probably not going to fill it up and it, and it should boot totally fine. However, I'm not going to be using this as an operating system boot drive. I'm going to be using it for uh, things like game storage and that. It should be totally fine nonetheless uh, for what I'm going to be using it for, which is a secondary drive uh, for games and for just general use. Um, it's actually kind of overkill, to be honest. For a drive like this, like a Gen 3, 3300 megabytes per second, two terabyte drive a year ago would have been probably double this. Like, you know, we're talking 200 minimum, probably 230, 240 even Canadian dollars. Uh, which is like 160, 170 American. You know, the NAND is Micron. From what I understand, it's Micron-based NAND. Uh, it doesn't have DRAM, but it does use HMB, so it should be totally fine as a boot drive if you need it. Uh, I mean, it's really, really cheap. So, it's, I mean, it's aesthetically, it's actually a really nice-looking drive. Not that that matters, but uh, it's a really nice-looking drive. So let's pop it in the computer, and we'll do some tests on it. Here's my results from just the basic benchmark. So this is just crystal disk mark. And you can see there my performance there. It's pretty much as advertised, which is good to be honest. And uh, here is Addo Benchmark, which just you know runs a bunch of different sizes at one time, uh, rather than you know here you select one. There we go. I'm moving some big files. These are video files from one extremely fast NVMe to this drive. Uh, the one that's reading from is very very fast. It's a 980 Pro. Um, and you can see it's fine. I mean, it's not three gigabytes, but it seems to be fast. Uh, we'll see if it drops down. Uh, I mean, it seems to be fine. These are just some old video files. Uh, video files will move pretty quick because they're you know big files. It's not going to be like a ton of tiny kilobyte files, but you can see there it's moving pretty good. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to grab is some small files. I'm not even sure what I'm transferring here. Oh, that's a lot of small files. And just flew through those. I don't even know how much data that was. I'm going to throw it back on my 980 Pro, which is a vastly faster drive, so that's not going to be a bottleneck here. And we'll see how quick the reads are. If the writes are fast, the reads will be fast, but I mean, we're moving 100, several hundred gigabytes there. I mean, when you see these these you know these benchmarks here, at you know three gigabytes, you're not going to actually hit that. Those are like perfect situations, but this is quick. To be honest, we're moving over a gigabyte a second. And it's actually doing it. It's not just saying that three, two, one, zero. So we're moving a gigabyte a second. Let's see if it drops down. And again, the uh, this is against the 980 Pro, which is probably one of the best. NVMe drives that exist right now, so it's definitely not that.